Before we go this morning, we'll talk about an organization here in the Keys that is daily changing children's lives. I'm talking about the Guardian Ad Lydem program. They speak out for and protect neglected and abused children. Dennis, thank you for being on with me this morning no to, talk, to talk about this great, great program. Thanks for having me. Dennis, what is your position with Guardian Ad Litem? I am charged with recruiting, training, and development of all of our uh, child or Guardian Ad Litem advocates, mm -hmm. the actual volunteers who go out into the homes, go out into the communities for these children. They act as the voice of the children. So everybody who works with this organization, Dennis, it's strictly volunteers. Well, our, yes, the, our, we actually have case managers in which our volunteers report to uh, they are they are on staff, but the grunt the grunt work of it would be is our volunteers. Yes. Why did you personally decide to get involved with this program? Uh, the mission of our organization it is providing a voice for the children. I mean, we are there for the best interest of the children, um, and just through my my personal aspirations throughout the years, this just seemed to mesh well with my personal values. Okay. Now, Dennis, I mentioned that this program, they speak out for, they protect abused and neglected children. Let's talk a little bit more about what this program does. What we do is the children are removed from their home for a multitude of reasons. It could be abuse, abandonment, neglect, uh, and we, they, again, they're removed from the home and they could be placed into foster families or group homes and then our advocates will go out into the community, do interviews, visits to the child, uh, and make recommendations to the court in the best interest of the child. Now, they will also discuss the wishes of the child to the court, but not necessarily, that could not necessarily be the recommendation. Because again, a child being taken away from their family, then of course they would probably want to go back home because that's all they know. Mm -hmm. But if it's not in the best interest of the child, uh, our ad litem advocates will uh, make a recommendation to the court. Okay, and now is this a statewide program or just here in the county? This is actually, it's actually a national program, but mm -hmm. we, it is a statewide program within Florida. We have 20 judicial circuits, and we are of course the 16th judicial circuit here, and we cover the Monroe, all of Monroe County. Okay, and how long have you guys been doing this down here in Monroe County? 1985, mm -hmm. and in 1985 it was a very small organization. Uh, we had two, there were two people on staff. Mm -hmm. um, and now we, it's grown throughout the years. Our current director, she joined the organization in 1988. Mm -hmm. And this is truly Alexa's passion. Mm -hmm. And she, does, she illustrates it every day. And um, yes. Okay, and the age group of the children that you serve? Uh, Again, I pulled the demographic, but anywhere from birth to about 17 years old. Well, this is great. I think it's a wonderful organization, what you're doing. And, and if people want to get involved in this, how are they eligible to become a volunteer? Well, we're, the volunteer requirements, it is, for most volunteerism out there, this, it's a time commitment. Mm -hmm. It is typically between 8 to 15 hours a month that you spend um, on your volunteer or on your child. Uh, and then prior to even getting certified to become an uh, ad litem advocate, you actually have to go through 30 hours of training. Mm -hmm. So it's quite extensive. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody who goes through the training gets certified because uh, we just noticed you know, through training that some pe this is not a line of volunteerism for some people. Right, right. But if they, if they find out that it is the line of work mm -hmm. for them, it, they could be changing, changing children's lives. Absolutely. So. We're actually pretty lucky in Monroe County that a lot of our uh, advocates are long-term. Mm -hmm. um, the changing dynamic of our uh, community though is we have a lot of military volunteers mm -hmm. and unfortunately every two or three years they transfer mm -hmm. hence the need for us to recruit more volunteers. Right. Well, we'll keep doing what you're doing Dennis. Mm -hmm. It's great. I look forward to talking with you in the future about the growth of the program and having, having you back on. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in this morning. That's a wrap for me today. Please join me, though, right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Take care. If I